Welcome to another episode of Where Should I Live in San Francisco. Today we'll explore a neighborhood that houses some of the most luxurious buildings on the West Coast that have reshaped the San Francisco skyline. A neighborhood that's flat yet offers amazing views and some of the best weather in San Francisco. Can you guess where we are today? Drum roll please, that's right, we're in South Beach. I'm Yesenia with the Krishnan team and as a resident of the neighborhood, I'll show you all that this fantastic area has to offer. South Beach is one of the most popular neighborhoods in the city as it truly encompasses everything you need in a neighborhood and offers a both luxury and hip lifestyle. It's hard to believe that South Beach was once at the epicenter of the shipping and trading industry in the golden era because now it's one of the fastest growing neighborhoods in the city and home to a mix of old and new luxury high rise developments and really cool conversion lofts. People love living in South Beach as it's truly a central and convenient location. You can really get to anywhere in the city fairly quickly and the neighborhood offers several muni lines that run through it, its own Caltrain station and BART station and easy access to the highways going both east and south. South Beach is home to some of the most influential companies like Google, Meta, formerly Facebook, Instagram, and Salesforce, to name a few. It's also home to the city's newest and only rooftop park, Salesforce Park, where we are here today. The Salesforce Park spans five and a half acres and offers curved walkways lined with beautiful landscaping and roughly 600 trees. It's an area where you can come to take a business call, take a walk on a beautiful day in the city. There's a kid's playground, and they now offer outdoor yoga and hit workouts where you can come for an outdoor workout. There's so much to do in South Beach. If you're a sports fan, you'll find home to the San Francisco Giants. And if you're a baseball fan, you know that San Franciscans are diehard Giants fans. The Giants Stadium is a beautiful day to spend an afternoon on a sunny day for a home game at the ballpark. We're also a short walk to the new Chase Stadium that houses the Golden State Warriors where that area has also been totally developed with several restaurants and bars alike. South Beach is also home to the San Francisco iconic Ferry Building. It's one of my favorite activities to do, to go to the Ferry Building and attend the farmer's market. You'll find fresh produce there, amazing empanadas, uh, food trucks, and so much to do. Where the Ferry Building is located, it's on the Embarcadero, and on the Embarcadero, I love to go for a run. It's a beautiful view of the bay and the water. It's so soothing. And the Embarcadero also houses several five-star restaurants, including Epic Steakhouse, the water bar where you can get a really good happy hour deal and oysters. You'll also find a two-time Michelin star restaurant here, Saison. It's one of my favorite high-end restaurants in all of San Francisco and it offers a 12 course meal. So you definitely have to allocate at least a couple of hours or more to be there. The drinks are good, the food is amazing, and the presentation of the food is just stunning. They also have an amazing playlist that I actually had to email them for the next day and they did share via Spotify. So if you want that playlist, email us and I'll share that with you. But while there are several high-end restaurants in the neighborhood, there's also several cafes. Um, Bluestone is one of my favorites that you'll find on Avery Lane that's new to the neighborhood. They have an amazing cappuccino and in my opinion, a really great impossible burger. So as I mentioned, some of the types of homes that you'll find in South Beach are a mix of new and older condo developments as well as conversion lofts. Currently, the median price for a two bedroom, two bath in South Beach is just over 1.7, making it a little bit more of an expensive place to live. One of the reasons for that is that a lot of the inventory in South Beach is new versus other parts of the city where you'll find more of an older mix of inventory with a few new ones sprinkled in that then translates into a wider range in terms of price per square foot and median price. While the average price point is 1.7 for a two bedroom, South Beach does have some luxury units, some of which have traded for as high as 15 million in buildings like 181 Fremont. For more information on South Beach or any other neighborhood in San Francisco, subscribe to our YouTube channel or contact us at ruthkrishnan.com. Thanks for watching.